3. Und damit okay, Leute, was geht ab und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Like paintbrush. He told stories through the number three. Stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket of... Genau, ganz kurz, falls ihr nicht versteht, was beim letzten Mal passiert ist, schaut euch die Folge auf jeden Fall an, war sehr, sehr witzig. Ähm, wir sind davon überzeugt, dass der Knopf auf dem Tastenfeld 3 etwas Besonderes ist. Und das müssen wir dem einmal irgendwie mitgeben. Was er doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Ernsthaft? Okay. Ich fahre jetzt aber nicht noch ein drittes Mal da hoch. Die Lampe ist sehr laut. Und runter Stanley geht's. und der Bucket waren so close. Es hat immer been there for one another. Why suddenly could the Bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. Ich glaube, wenn wir das jetzt noch ein paar Mal machen. There must be a way to get through to the Bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Ich gehe jetzt nicht noch mal hoch. Ich habe keine Lust, da jetzt noch ein viertes, fünftes Mal hochzufahren. Okay, er talkt nicht. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Da mache ich. Kein Problem. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Was? Das war jetzt aber nicht the der Deal. Them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around nee. and get back on track. Nee. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. I'm literally scared. Ja, come on. Warum nicht? Warum nicht? Es lädt. Okay. Ähm. Um. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley in the bucket inch closer. Die werden doch jetzt nicht einfach nur eine Ladesequenz einbauen, nur damit ich hier kurz zerquetscht werde und fertig. Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Nein. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed Nicht der to death. Es geht wieder super los, Leute. Oh mein Gott, ich hab Bock. Ähm. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. Parable. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Bitte, wird das nicht lesen. Der Eimer. Heißt sie willkommen zur großen Ausstellung. Sie stehen am Abgrund des Wissens. Ähnlich wie ein Eimer ist auch der menschliche Verstand oft leer. Eine höhlenartige Leere. Aber durch die Absorb... Aber durch die Absorption des Ausstellungsstücks... Ich krieg gar nichts hin. Bubble. Des Ausstellungsstücks vor ihnen wird der Geist voll bereichert und fundiert. Die Kenntnisse über den Eimer und seine Geschichte sind das einzig wahre Wissen, das wir wirklich haben werden. Das wir wirklich haben. Werden sie das, was sie lernen, mit sich in die Welt hinausnehmen? Werden sie in der, werden sie aufgeschlossen akzeptieren, was an den Informationen in dieser Ausstellung herausfordernd sein mag? 
werden sie das Leben von sich selbst und ihren Liebsten als Folge dieser Ausstellung verändern oder werden sie die Augen verschließen und weiterleben wie bisher in, Unwissend, in Unwissenheit und Dunkelheit? Ähm... Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Einmal mit zwei Henkeln. Das ist spiegelverkehrt bzw. rückwärts geschrieben, richtig? Zu gefährlich, gefährlich war kein 25 Eimer, was? Das sind, 5, das sind mehr als 5. Oh, wie cool. Kann ich den mitnehmen? Nee. Inferno-Eimer. Lest euch das einfach durch, drückt Pause. Ich mach das jetzt nicht. Der Stresseimer. Without any commentary. Okay, okay. Selbst in Höhlenmalereien gab es einen Eimer. Hier, drückt Pause, lest es euch durch. Perfekt, weiter geht's. Lesen wir das auch durch nachher im Schnitt. No man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Der hängende Eimer. Dieses Stück symbolisiert die Not. Oh, über dem Loch! Ich habe was kaputt gemacht. Prediction. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Nee. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world. Könnte das Spiel neu beginnen? Both buckets from their treatment as tools and implements. If only we let Stanley Together, the bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Ich lasse es jetzt passieren. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Es steht jetzt auch immer drauf. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Up here lang. Ja. Musik hier drin ist immer noch total weird, aber ist okay. Wir gehen jetzt äh, straight forward. Chef hoch, machen das gleiche nochmal. Nur äh, diesmal neustarten. starten. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the Woher kommt dieses Geräusch? Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guide it, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was dieses the Geräusch war des Todes weird. Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Most logical, yeah. Es ist kompliziert zu verstehen, weil ich verstehe gar nichts.
Stanley and the Bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both be Das ist richtig. Aber diesmal nicht. Weil diesmal drücken wir vorher Escape. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful ja. death for each of them. Weiß ich, weiß ich. Ich lauf da trotzdem hin. Weil diesmal starten wir neu. Sie hat ja gesagt, yo, starte nicht neu, gib Stanley nicht nochmal die Möglichkeit, irgendeinmal zu... Wir starten jetzt, sowas. Das ist immer noch ein bisschen creepy, aber das ist okay. Was macht eigentlich dieser Ruhe? Ah, das ist nur eine Lampe. Okay, hätte ja auch sein können, dass das ein Knopf ist. Keine Ahnung. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind ich and the soul in the so sehr. Bucket. But what use is a Charakter im Spiel? When you're about to be crushed to death. This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Okay. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Name the Stanley Parable. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's mm. true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Und zwar diesmal, ja, wie ich wie euch will ich es noch erklären? Ähm, es ist auf jeden Fall sehr spannend. Rauschen dieser hängende Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this? And to claim ich habe den vorher own. nicht gesehen. Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Halt hier links geht's. Weird, einfach nur weird. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Jetzt restarten wir. There is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity. Reset game. Gucken, ob sich das irgendwie auswirkt. Nein! But Stanley simply couldn't. Ich starte nochmal neu. <lacht> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. It's me, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yeah. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cog. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. 
He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Mhm. Ich glaube, wir waren hier schon mal. Ich wollte eigentlich immer nach da unten. Weil das scheint auch weiter zu gehen. Aber wir sind das letzte Mal hier gestorben, als wir runter wollten. Aber ist okay. Danger everywhere. Wo laufen wir eigentlich genau hin? No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this point. Wir sind hier, glaube ich, schon mal lang gegangen. Stand das schon immer da? Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Um. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simple enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Yeah. Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Ich gehe jetzt gleich. Ich gehe einfach. Item 3. Is this a bucket? Wenn ich mir das so ansehe, nein. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Ernsthaft? Bitte. Okay. Item 4. Is this a bucket? Ja. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that. Es tut mir leid, aber ich musste das antworten. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Is this a bucket? Ja. Correct. This is a bucket. Also eine Entscheidungsfähigkeit hat der Typ da oben auch nicht. Item 6. Is this a bucket? Nee. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Hä? <lacht> Hä? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Wer wird Millionär Musik? Ähm. Ja. Come on. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that, I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. 
Nein! What happened? Is everything gone? Nein, ich wollte drücken. Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're ja, not a bucket either. Ähm. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset I'm... everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Uh, jetzt erstmal Wolvik Wasser aus meinem Eimer trinken. For real? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order yeah. will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Das war weird. Aber wie es weitergeht, sehen wir leider erst beim nächsten Mal. Wenn euch das Ganze gefallen hat, dann drückt jetzt auf den Eimer unter dem Video und lasst doch gerne einen Eimer da. Macht aus dem Rot ein Grau und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Bis dann, Eimer rein und ciao, ciao, Eimers.